Okay, so if you watched my last video where I did that makeup review, you would see that I said that I actually paused that video to go out dumpster diving with my cousin. And I'm really glad I did because if you guys can see, this is all the stuff I got just from that one night. We got a huge score from this store right here, as you can see. So let's go a few, or through a few things before we go through all the books. Okay, the first thing that I found at a different store is this really cute picture frame. I love it because we're going on vacation this year. Of course, here's Penny. But we're going on vacation this year, so I'm going to save this and put a picture in here from when we're on the beach. Or um, I actually have a really good picture of my kids on the beach last year that I might use to put in here. But I thought this was really cute. Now, this next item I got was actually from my dumpster dive video previous. I just forgot to show it, so I wanted to throw it in here. It, is a, it was five sheet masks. You can see the charcoal detoxifying, and it's open at the bottom, because so I think I've already used two. Yeah, I've already used two of them, but all five of them were in here. So, like I said, this was from my previous dumpster dive, but I wanted to throw it in here because I forgot to show you guys. And then, when I was with my cousin... We went by the pet store and I found an entire bag of cat food, which was extremely lucky because I am right at the very bottom of my bag of cat food. And you can see Penny is getting back in the camera again. They like to sniff everything. I have both of my dogs on this side and then both of my cats are on this side. Another thing that I found at that pet store was a bag of these Steak Grillers Recipe Dog Treats. And they're open now, but they were completely sealed. Um, it was just like a night or so ago. So I did open them and see if my dog liked them. And they really love them. And I've never found anything from a pet store before, but this was the next thing that I found. And then my cousin had checked a few dumpsters right before I went out to meet with her. And she found several bags of these pistachios. As you can see, I have eaten that much of them. It was completely full and they had not been open yet. But I did want to throw this in there because this was a dumpster dive find also. And then I found a completely full bottle. This thing's completely full. The top's not even lifted up yet of this hip shampoo it's got eucalyptus in it haven't tried it yet so if anybody out there has this or tried it let me know how it works i'm hoping it works pretty well but i was excited to find this especially since it's so big you can see it's 32 ounces and then my cousin took me by a dumpster that was a little closer to her house and we found a bag of clothes and we kind of just split them up and these are the ones i took this is the first shirt it just says beauty sleep i think it might have had a pair of shorts that went with it but those weren't in the bag but that's okay Still definitely wear this to bed. This is the next um, bedtime outfit. It's a pair of blue shorts, a black polka dots, and the top says flawless after coffee. And you know, I don't drink coffee, but I will still definitely wear this to bed. And it's got the blue lace on the back. And these clothes look all wrinkled because they have been out in my car for a few days. And then the next outfit is just a pink tank top that says love and sparkly letters. And I think it goes with these black shorts, which this is probably something else I will wear to bed also. Um, I'll probably wear this with a pair of shorts this summer, but I still think this is a cute outfit. Then we ran by this store. She had never been there before, so we ran by, and I think there was like six or maybe seven boxes in there. These were all taped shut, so we just grabbed them out and threw them in our car, and she said her boxes had some books, some calendars, and some toys. I think mine just basically have all books, but it's so so many books i don't know if you guys can even see how many all three of these boxes are just completely filled instead of pulling them out going one by one i'm going to take them and lay them out and then we'll be able to see everything that i got right, so this is just the first box i'm only going to be able to do it one box at a time because there's so many it would literally take up like so much of my floor but i'll just go by and you can see the all the books that i got there's a whole bunch of these. I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these. And then I have two of the DJ ones. This one. I have these. I have one, two, three of these. I have one, two, three, four, five, 
six of the walking home together. I have two of these, one of this one, one of this one, this one, this one. I have two of the pleasure exchange, one of these and one of these. So now I'll lay out everything from the second box. Okay, and here's everything from the second box. I actually think there was a lot more books in that second box than there was the first one. And again, I'll just show them to you one by one so you guys can see everything that I got. There's two of these, A Time for War. Uh, I hope with the sun shining through, you're still able to see it okay. And then I have three of these and three of these. Then I have these up here. This one actually looks like it might be kind of interesting. Uh, this one, I was kind of excited when I saw it because my son's always really been into weather. So I think he's going to be interested in looking at that one. There's one about raw energy, like eating raw foods. And then I have three of To Dwell in Darkness. One of these. Uh-oh, there's another book. So I actually have, what did I say? Okay, so I have four of those now. Then there's this one, this one, and then there was another one of these in that second box, like in the first box. So now we'll look into the third box. Okay, so here's everything from the third box. I think there is a couple duplicates from the first and second box, but I still want to show everything that was in there. I think we already saw one of those. This one seems really uh, interesting, the grill and Alfred Hitchcock's shower. And we have this one, and this one, this one, and this one. This one, I know I had um, some of those in the other box and a couple of these too. So there was two more of those. This one and then the pleasure exchange was another duplicate. And then the let me be frank with you, I have two of those. How to think like the gates, there's three of these. And then this book I think looks really cute. It says you're the butter on my biscuit and other country sayings about love, marriage, and heartache. And I have... One, two, three, four, five, six of those. This one. I have two of the Who Built That. Um, one about Martin Short. This one. This one. This one. And then I have two of these also. And if anyone's watching this video and would be interested in buying any of these books, I'll probably sell them all like individually for like maybe $3. And if you do media mail, I recently found out that shipping is really cheap. So even if the package is kind of heavy, shipping should be pretty cheap. So again, you can just look back and see all the titles of the books. Anything you want, send me a message on my Facebook page, which I will list the link down below. I'll put it up on eBay. That way you can get it and get a tracking number and everything with your order. So look for that. And so, yeah, I'm really glad I went out with my cousin. We actually had a lot of fun. We hadn't seen each other in several years. So I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we got lucky and found some stuff. And like always, you guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I have some other Dumpster Dive videos coming up really, really soon. I know that I let you down. Sorry now